back to the barbershop talk. You know what I mean? We made it another week. Tonight, you know, we got the regulars in the building. And um, our special guest who stopped by the shop. You know, we got a, a radio personality. She a, she, a, she a brand. She she a boss. We ain't gonna say female boss. She a boss. She self made. You know what I'm saying? I'm Tonight we go with Sour, baby. What's going on? What's going on, what's Sour? What's up? What's up? When you introduce me, you gotta be like, yo, you got a real nigga in the building. You know what I'm saying? Ah, <laughs> I'm from. <laughs> Yo, that's how you come on my show. You G check niggas. Listen, so, check niggas. I check everybody. Yo, listen, less than 30 seconds in, I already got G check. That's how we got down. Yeah. And she already said no filter. She was like, yo, yo niggas yeah. ain't ready. I'm like, okay, whatever. I already listen, see. It already started. Off topic. Oh, this dude, look, it was me and my girl Fee today. Like, off topic, the dude gonna dap me up, right? And then mm -hmm. gonna say to her, oh, bye. You don't look like you dap niggas up. Like, I like, I look like a oh. nigga. You know, like, I'm a nigga. I'm like, all right. Like, so how you take that, though? How you take that? I take it fine because at the end of the day, like, I'm a real nigga. Like, I'm that's a, real shit. I'm a, nigga. That's real shit. I'm a fly ass nigga. You that's know real I mean? shit. Like, that's real shit. You're a fly ass nigga. Yeah, that's it's, real it's shit. Different. Let's give like, it out. You're a boss, thought, too. Yeah, yeah, I give it course. to you. I give it to you. Radio personality at 104.9. Yes, yes. You know what I'm yes. saying? How long you been doing that? Um, yo, it's crazy. I only been doing it um in July. It's gonna be a year, and I already had three different shows in less nice, than a year. Like, nice. cause I, you know, I started off, and then I did my own shit. Me and you know, Lala. Then I did my own shit. Now all of the So it's like, mm -hmm. I just been, you know, I'm just trying to get up there and get famous, man. That's that's mm -hmm. my move. But what did it got you into like radio? How you? Yo, I talk so much shit like on social media, mm -hmm. like just. Started with Instagram, like my page gets deleted when I first started Instagram. This is probably like my seventh page because I talk so much shit, people get mad, then they'll delete. Yeah, so, so it's like a Facebook jail or some shit like that. Yeah, but jail, right? they just delete your shit. Like, they ain't no jail. They're like, bitch, you're gone. You talking a lot of shit, people ain't fucking with you, or they just mad you telling the truth. So you had to rebuild seven times? Hell yeah, yo. That's why I only got like three, four thousand followers right now because. Every time I gotta get shit, my page, so I don't even. Yeah, that's nothing. Like oh, that's that ain't shit. I would have had way more than that. Mm -hmm. But to me, it still ain't shit because people still get mad and they still they're hearing still me. Report you. Yeah, they're hearing me. They're talking about it. They're telling other people. It's getting back to them. Like okay, they still listen. They still watching. They just not following. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like I really don't care. Like at the end of the day, I'm still gonna do what I gotta do and be me. So you just went from the basically social media aspect straight to 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 radio. Yeah, because like just me like talking shit, right? They're like, yo, you need to be on radio. You need to be on radio, and I'm like, yeah, like how do I get on the fucking radio? You know, it's yeah, not like yeah. you just go to the radio. I'm like, hey, can I get on? Like, nah, you gotta, you know, know somebody who knows somebody. So I knew somebody who was doing it, and he was like, yo, I want you to co-host for me. I was like, for real? It took a minute though. I thought he was bullshitting, right? Mm -hmm. I'm like, uh, I don't, I'm like, I ain't gonna tell nobody. They're gonna be like, yo, she's lying. Yeah. Nigga, after like damn near a year and a half of him telling me this shit, he hit me up like, yo, it's about to go down. Wednesday, I said, I'm, I'm ready. Nigga, that Wednesday, it was like, say it was Monday, that Wednesday, I went on the show. I didn't even know what I was doing. I was mm -hmm. just there, like, where? I'm here. Because, mm -hmm. nigga, I wanted to do it. Yeah. And then from there, it just took off. Like, they heard me doing it with him. And he's the host. And they're like, yo, we like her. You know, North, um, Northeast. And like, yo, mm -hmm. we like her. She's like, she's real. You she just, just meant for yeah. it. Yeah, and I just, you know, I just, I just say what I want to say and I do what I want to do, yeah. pretty much. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. They heard it and it was like, yo, we need her like pretty much on her own show. Mm -hmm. Then we got Lala as a guest and me and her just fucking click. Like, we're both savages. Like, I'm both like a nice savages. savage. So, but, 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 but hold on, tell me nice before she came dirty. She's came dirty, so y'all already know what she said. She's savage, y'all. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Okay, we're, we're savages, but we're nice, though. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm really am a nice person. So, like, and she, Lala is K-rated too. She's half K-rated and black. Mm -hmm. So, we just mixed and it was like, yo, we need them together. And I was like, yo, cool. Then we just did it and you know it worked out for a little bit. She wanted to do her own thing. Me and her still cool. I support her. She support me. And then I just started doing rolling with Sour, like not even yeah. a year. So I'm just like, yo, I'm just trying to take off. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm and I, think a, I think another thing, not to cut you off, but I think another thing. Don't be cutting me off like, and shit. I know this is your show. That's two checks, yo. I don't think I want to Three for the stripes because you show. know I'm from Rockstar. We definitely, yeah, we definitely not going to finish the show. But for <laughs> some real shit, right? Because um, what I think is. When I listen to the radio, I'm talking about like the, the major stations who play like hip hop all day and shit like that. Boss is corny. We all we all know like I'm talking about radio wise, not us. No, it's true. Boss is lit, but I'm saying radio wise, like the major network, 94.5, not wild trash. Let, let's keep it a thousand. It's not hip hop no more. They repeat the same but, shit every hour though. And you know what I think it is? I, I 
think that the personalities ain't Boston. Like you get these people from Somerville, Braintree, South. That's right. They're not Boston, so they don't. They are not hip to the shit that we need to listen to, right? You ain't yo. The crazy shit is I said that before, and I said that on my show. Like, like they need someone. I'm not just saying necessarily from the hood because you know I'm from the hood. Yeah, they just yeah, need Boston. somebody who can relate. Yeah. Like. These people, they be like, they're from Methuen, and then they be like, they're from Boston. Methuen is not, not Boston, Boston. They don't like, understand like, the city. Methuen the city is Methuen. Like, it's mass, but it's not Boston. Like, yeah. we're, we're different. You could tell when I go somewhere, they be like, oh, we know you're not from here because you look different. You dress yeah, different, think... you talk different, you walk different. So, you're going to host different. You're going to bring the information in different. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's why when I do my shit on YouTube, nigga. That's what I was about to get into. So, a couple days ago, what was it? Yesterday. Yeah, yeah it was like yesterday. yesterday I think you I made I said the it. announcement. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, exactly. tell me what it. the announcement is. I ain't gonna I, yo, it. I've been thinking about it for a while. Like, like we was talking about in the back, you know, I'm gonna bring back that cheddar DVD, the hood DVD, mm-hmm. nigga. It's just gonna be the fucking sour DVD, though. Like, it's yeah. gonna be rolling with sour. I'm just yeah. gonna hit the block and, like, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to, like, someone's block. If they got hoes on that block, they wanna tell me how they're hoes. Go ahead, you wanna show some pussy? Show some pussy, nigga. Like, you wanna bust it open, you wanna twerk, yo. You wanna suck some dick, bitch, by all means. You can hide your face, you can do whatever you want. Like, I got bitches already who's telling me, like, yo, I wanna talk about it. And yeah. I'm like, word, like, I'm not knocking you and I'm yeah, not clowning with you, nigga. This like, is, this is good. Content. I respect a hoe being a hoe and saying, yo, I'm a hoe. I, it's a, I hate it's a trap. Hole, my nigga. It's a trap. It's another. It's another trap. It's a different trap. There's all types of traps. You it's, know what I'm saying? It's true. And that's so, just a different trap that people you want to well just tell the truth. Is that see? So for those who don't know, the young kids who's watching this, who who shit, they should have watched this. Like, <laughs> who was those babies back with DVDs? Who don't even know what DVDs are, right? Basically, early 2000s, we had the DVDs like the Hoods DVD, like um, what, what Cocaine City, mm-hmm. um, all of that, Cheddar, Cheddar DVD, you know, even Limelight, even Limelight, you know what I'm saying? So it's like there was these DVDs where they go to the Hood, they show different Hoods, like it's, it's a different culture in every Hood, and they just show that. Then you had like I remember one Hoods DVD where they went and like had an episode strictly on Fiends. Like, like, and that shit was lit. My you nigga, I'm on the that? block every day with fiends. And, That's what I'm saying. And they, these fiends are like family of like the niggas I grew up with. Like, it's like, you know what I'm saying? And they're not just like, oh, that's a fiend. I, I can't talk to them. I can't do this. Nah. They just be on the block telling you shit every day. Like, mm-hmm. and they remember shit that happened two, three years ago. Right, you know what right, I'm saying? Like, right, other right. day, you're like, to the God, nigga. We I'm talking. And the life is a yeah. fiend. Yeah, let me tell you. <laughs> the life of a fiend. Let me tell you something, man. Fiends are the most smart in in um enthusiastic and and let me see they they have they they very they go getters fiends is go getters because at the end of the day a fiend will spend they have to spend at least three hundred to five hundred dollars a day. Imagine having to spend three hundred to five hundred dollars a day. The shit you gotta go through to get that money. That shit's real. That's how you need like so having an episode where you actually doing that. My man Christian stopped by in the building yeah, going on business. Hey, Christian, Christian, I, I, I was driving down the strip and I'm like, yo, I saw the lights, man. I'm like, then they're getting busy. Man. But right now we just talking about um so Sour over here, she a radio personality. She's hey, starting her what's happening with you? What's she's starting her YouTube channel. So Chris. Remember back in the day, early 2000s. Remember the DVDs was popping, bro? Those DVDs. Ah! Tell them about it. Tell them about it. All that. All that. I love them, man. Listen, I used to have them joints on repeat, man. GZ. You know, going back and forth at it with Blue Da Vinci, all that, man. And they had the hoods. Um, and Saudi was wilding and all yeah, that, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, 2018 is about to be a sour DVD. Oh, we bringing them back? No, we did them, man. We did them, man. So now, now that we got some people in the building, now we can start talking about the bullshit. You know said what the saying? bullshit. The bullshit. <laughs> Before we get into all the bullshit, all like right. let, 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 let's let's keep it music. Who you fucking with? You you a radio personality, and I understand that you a real one because you a radio personality in Boston, and you told me you play Boston niggas with a sprinkle of everything else. Right. That's what separates you from the True. corny niggas. That's facts. <laughs> Mainstream, all around, nationwide. Who you fucking with right now? Money man. Right. I love I, uh, I love me some money, man. I, yeah, I write on his page every day. I like, come to Boston because he's like a hood nigga. Mm-hmm. He don't, you know what I'm saying? He's he's not signed. He's not on BT. And he says in his song, he's I don't care if BT don't play my shit. Like I got mad diamonds. Da, da, da. So him saying that, it's like, nigga, every day he's like, yo, I'm just gonna do a world tour. Like state your city if you want me to come through. Every day I comment on that shit. Like nigga, please come to Boston. Money man, watch this shit. I need you. <laughs> like I, I love Money Man. I love Future and I love Migos. Like. 
Like, you know, I'm just like, I, I love trap music. I listen to R&B and shit like that, but I'm more of like a trap queen, you know what I'm saying? Like, Did you, did you talk song. with the early trap? Like the early 2000s trap? The, the trap that niggas is fighting over, like Gucci, Tip, and all of these Listen, I've been a trap queen forever. Trap is not new to me. Like, I just, I'm not like R&B. Like, Who you think invented been a trap? <laughs> Dang. That's you know, a real you know, life question. Not, you know, you know, trap you know, listen, you trap listen, queen. Listen, not what it is. A nigga kind of young, so I can't be like, who invented yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, right. I'm a little Who I think invented it? Yeah, from your perspective. Who I think invented trap? Who introduced trap, you nigga? to trap? What rapper introduced you to trap? That's the question. Gucci. Who? That's who. <laughs> nigga said like. Why, why is my nigga? But you know who introduced I, I you to trap? Him. Master P. Introduced you know what? You know what? Yeah. I Master P. Mr. Ice Cube. Mr. Ice Cube. Yo, I forgot about Mr. Ice Cube. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got the hookup. Oh, it's the nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yo, P. I got like Yo, Jeezy, nigga. Yo, Jeezy. That reason why I fuck with Gucci so much is because. Water was really the closest it. thing to P to me. Because when I was a kid, I was growing up listening to P, Silk, Mr. Go, even Lil Wayne, Cash Money as a youngster. Juvie was my favorite rapper. BG was lit. So it's like I grew up listening to them niggas. And then once I became like late teens, mm -hmm, so Gucci bad. was the nigga who brought me closer to that old film. Like, yeah, what he was, had that new shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, he was yeah, like, like the, he keep it Gucci. Like, he was the new trap nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you think about it, like, he's a. Hood nigga, he's getting money, he's in the streets, he's a good rapper, like, nigga, he's a trap king. Yeah. That's who, like, if, when I remember, let's work. I don't work for free, goddamn it. Y'all got some snacks over here, so Yeah, shit. we got you, <laughs> about how you lit in a second. So, let's say, um, so let's say you playing national music, nationwide music, let's say you playing everything, um, R&B, hip-hop, all of this. I bring this up because right now, there's a big thing on boycott R. Kelly. There's mm -hmm. a bunch of stations saying yeah. they don't want to play his music no more. Not to cut you off, but they should have did that a long time ago. But okay. continue. No, no, no. Why? 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 My nigga, he come on. R. Kelly done fucking fucked kids, nigga. He done, <laughs> yeah, like. Yeah. Fuck his music, like yeah, he could sing and all that, but my nigga on some real real shit. But he got off, he did get off. It don't matter, he did no it. Like, no pun no pun intended. I could kick him right now. Like, you know, I mean, not you know, get like, off, but he got off. Yeah. He, 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 he got off. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, that's disgusting. No, but no, <laughs> yo, no bullshit. Like he, you know what I'm saying? All the yeah. shit he did, like nigga should have been stopped fucking with his music. But at the end of the day, it's just like niggas. Right now, you could be a rat and niggas will still fuck with you because you get more money than the next nigga. But that's a whole another topic. Look at me, yeah. I just be going off a of topic. So. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Let's get back to the game. So, right, so, yeah, this is because, so Spotify. So right now, like the, the what's running the game is like these multimedia platforms like Spotify, right, yeah, Apple yeah. Music, all of them. So Spotify basically announced that they about to so they got these playlists, right? Like a hip hop playlist, mm -hmm. R and B playlist, everything. If you get put on that playlist, you automatically get in mad streams just right, because right. everybody gonna listen to they that. They gonna shit. listen to it. Like random, you just wanna play some shit. Exactly. Yeah. So but they announced that they about to take R. Kelly off their major playlist. They announced um they they announced people like Tay K Freaking, uh, who else was it? Um, XXX, um, XXX Tentacion, R. Kelly, stuff like that, right? Now, how y'all feel? Like, are we really gonna, like, not listen to people's art based on their personal Ooh. shit? Because that's like me not fucking with a nigga because he's a rap because he got mad money and say I'm broke right now, he could yeah. pay my whole bills and now I'm up. No, I won't fuck with him because. You're, you're sure. Yeah, I, you're I, I, I've been stopped listening to R. Kelly's music. I've been stopped paying for shit. You, 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 you won't, we'll Hell no, I would not because X, 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 that goes X, X, as the person I am. That means okay. that I stand by a rapist or you know. And this is like getting more serious, but you know what I'm saying. That just means I stand yeah. by this type of person or this person who's doing this. Like, no, I don't. So I won't play your music. Right. I won't fuck with R. Kelly, and I don't know him from a hole in the wall. Mm -hmm. But I still won't fuck with the nigga. Like he did what he did, and he's do he's still doing what he's doing. We <laughs> don't. So Spotify and everybody else should have been stopped fucking with his music. Like Sniz, how, how you feel about that, bro? No, no. Nah, I understand what she saying, but I just feel like, hey, it's gonna be a big Pandora's box, man. If you, if you start here, you gotta go with the Michael Jackson, you gotta go to Chris Brown, you gotta, you gotta go down the line. We stop. 
but it, it, I get that that one person case is maybe kids and one maybe female. So it's like, hey, listen, how I'm are you picking female, and choosing? But a female should not hit a nigga. And I'm a, and I'm a hood that female and I got niggas right now who will kill for me. But I will never hit a nigga unless he hits me first. So if a female hit a nigga like Rihanna, we don't know the real situation. If she, hit, if she hit Chris Brown, he should have knocked her the fuck it's out. It's a female. And then you never hit a nigga like him in your life, exactly. right? So we I don't just really think it is know. like, yo, if Spotify gonna be like, yo, but when it comes these to kids, dudes, it's a difference, can, can, we ain't gonna play these dudes because they got these allegations and whatnot. And, yeah, and you, that, you got a whole, right. they, they, that's like, how yo, they do it. Uh, who tweeted it? Somebody tweeted it out, but they, they put out a bunch of people's names and their chases that they, they were alleged for and they still playing their music. So I just feel like if they gonna do it, you gotta go full throttle no. with, your, with your movement. And, uh, but, but, right, they play whoever's more in the limelight. Like, like they'll say, facts. okay, R. Kelly right now, if he ain't really popping, which he ain't, so they're gonna say, I right, fuck R. Kelly. Say Gucci, my nigga, right now, rape a kid. God forbid. I hope not. Come on. God, I just said God not forbid. Not it came right in Credit Cruz, nigga. Not so so <laughs> if he did it, they probably still fuck with Gucci. And still Spotify well, and all them because they're probably like, damn, Gucci's getting money right now. But it's just because R. Kelly's not really still up there, so they're like, oh, let's boycott him. No, y'all should have did that when he was up there and dropped his money down. Right. Yo, you feel me? So who am I? I'm just out. Um, yo, no lie. That's, that was my stance when Ross came out the closet as a cop. When I heard about that, that's I was like, yo, I'm done with Ross. And Ross is in my top 10 right now. Now put it this way, I will, I will not go out and buy any of these artists' <laughs> albums. I'm not buying a Ross album, not buying 50 album, he dry snitch. I'm not buying Fab's music no more because he wilded out. What like, Troy Ave? He just can't shoot. That's Troy Ave rapping yeah. too. Oh. Yeah. Oh, well, it's 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 it got a rap. It look like he told on you. Know it look like you know he told on I'm gonna bring it back to the original joint. Where is um, if I was to if I was to let's talk the boycott shit, right? Mm -hmm. I don't think I think we should separate people's art from their personal life because if we start bringing their personal life into their art we're not going to be able to enjoy anybody mm -hmm. because everyone's flawed mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. every, if, if shit you know this shit that could come out about every single person then we're going to be stuck listening to fucking <laughs> chance the rapper i can't change the rapper about the only person who don't have no shit no dirt on him though nah nah yo and you're right in a way and you're wrong you know what i mean like uh, I, I, I already explained it you know i agree you know what i'm saying but it's just it is what it is. It's society, dog. Yeah, and now, I feel you. Like, I feel, here's why I feel you because I was sitting in the car the other day, right? And I'm with my man, and he got the um the the XM radio going on, right? So it goes from a hard song pause to a fucking Frank Ocean song, and it's just me and him sitting in the car. You know what I'm saying? So we both didn't have to talk to each other. We both <laughs> reached for the joint to, 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 to change it at the same, at the same time. time. Because yeah. we because before he came out, it was cool to listen to that shit because we thinking that he's talking about the same shit we talking about. Yeah, then but we found out he was gay. We found out that he could be talking about one of us. Right. And we, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like this he was a little funny with him you know after that. And, and not no 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 thing against it. The gays, but it's like that's just kind of uncomfortable with just me and my man. Same thing about Kells. I grew up, I grew up listening to Kells. I grew up loving his music. Right, right. But it's like I don't want to listen to it thinking like, damn, this dude's talking to the middle schools right. and the high school. I don't want to think that, but at the same time, it's a possibility. But I don't want to keep thinking like that because then it's like, at most of you kind of need. Like some type of fucked up shit in your head to create most of the genius. So in a way, crazy you you want to support him, but you don't. So I like, don't want to support So you support his, his music by download, you know, but like downloading mm -hmm. it or whatever. But you won't like go to his concert, you know, or put real money in his pocket, or, you know, yeah, see, something see, like that. Okay, all kinds of part of my cleanup playlist. Like when I got to clean up <laughs> yeah. you know, and shit, I play like you know like New Jack Swing. Yeah. I play early nineties R and B, Jodeci, a lot of guys. That's the shit. Because right when you go on Pandora, you love it. Um, random, our mm -hmm. Kelly's definitely coming up on that playlist. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Unless they go with Spotify and take him off. But that's what I'm saying. He comes up all the time because he's just one of those singers. But what he did and what he does is fucked up. So, but people don't, they don't really care about that shit anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Like, I can stop listening to him. What the fuck is that gonna do? <laughs> like, exactly, I ain't no exactly, nigga, exactly. you know what I'm saying? Like, who the fuck is me? He ain't never heard of me, so it yeah. doesn't really matter. So, put him in jail. It shit. takes a whole put army of white jail. people to stop him, nigga. <laughs> I feel like, like, why can't he be in no jail? Way. Why can't he be in prison and we still just listen to the shit? Like, I mean, like, I don't know, but hey, I, I'm gonna throw this on you. Let's go. 
Yeah. If he's involved, involved, you know I'm taking him out. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, we're gonna get into that. We're gonna get into that. Oh, I, got, I, I got another question for you about this, this music shit. Um, Cardi B and Azalea Banks. Oh, you heard about that oh, that oh, whole situation? You know what I mean? Fuck that bitch you know I mean? because she made Cardi. I think delete her uh, her um, Instagram, and I ain't even feeling it. Well, you gotta understand this though. Cardi now that bitch is always arguing with somebody, dog. Cardi's prego though. Yeah, she's prego. But I think it's that whole argument with her, and then she got into some other shit. How do you feel about what Azalea said though about hip hop going from like? No, I don't even care what she said because she's ignorant in the way that she said what she said. Like she's talking about Cardi. Not, like you know not knowing English and this that and the third like it doesn't fucking matter like cuz I'm K radio so when people say shit about that it pisses me to fuck off like I fuck that bitch up like you can't <laughs> just talk about people not knowing English or the way that they was raised or brought up because bitch maybe she didn't have fucking money to go to school and do this and the third nigga uh, yeah that, like, that was kind of that was that's ignorant up, of but, you to say that but what so, about what about she, what she said about um she said she don't understand how woman hip hop went from like Queen Latifah, you know. Because you this is the generation that, that we live in, my nigga. Think about what, when we were brought up. Did we know about cell phone? The kids now, they don't even know about fucking shit that we knew back in the day. They you know what about I mean? way more. No, they didn't play Ring the Doorbell and Run. What's the game? Ding oh, Dong. Ding like, like, they didn't play those games because they didn't be on their phone. So yeah. our generation now is different than when. Queen Latifah was out. Queen Latifah yeah, was the right. fucking shit. Yeah, but what, so so. But this is what niggas now. Back then, bitches had no fake bodies, no makeup, nothing, and yeah. it was bad. And that was the generation that Queen Latifah was in, and Aaliyah, and everybody else, and fucking um, Erica Badu, and all of them, right? Now everybody got fake bodies, this and that, and the third, right? Robot. This is our generation, nigga. Look at Foxy, she don't even rap no more. Before she went deaf and did all that, because why? The generation's not the same. Like even sure. little Kim had to adjust, nigga. You and little Kim came out and she was when she came out she was already naked and sexy. Yeah, we yeah. didn't know how to take it then. Yeah. But even now she's adjusting to doing the same shit that Nicki Minaj and them is doing, nigga. Yeah. Cause she wanna make sure she's still relevant. It's our generation, dog. Yeah, this is what crazy. we want people to live up to. But I, 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 don't, I, don't I bet you right now, Queen Latifah, not to cut you off, like somebody like a Queen Latifah will come out right now, dope nigga could fucking wrap her ass off, nigga. Fat and everything. They'll be like, people who can spit. Like, 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 like Dreezy? They they just Dreezy it. from um, Shantan? Dreezy? Yeah. She's a bitch. Oh, 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 I play her shit on my radio all the time, nigga. No, I she's love her music. Like, she she go with it. Yeah, she will. She fuck with her, nigga. Yo, she know. I fuck with her, nigga. Nigga said, Gucci know, but it's just what we want. When I say we, as in the world, nigga, like, it's just what we want to see. Like, we don't want to see a Queen Latifah right now. We want to see uh, uh, Nicki Minaj. The, the, you know, the butt, the titties, all that. And then she raps about what she raps, the sexual shit. Her raps don't mean shit, nigga. She's just talking. Like, that's a she's scary saying shit. anything. Let Queen Latifah rap and knows what she's talking about. Yeah, but that's a scary shit, though, because I, I was on Instagram today, man, and I seen some shit that I, I'm afraid to go to sleep tonight. Oh, man. yeah. Yo, Mama D came out with an album. You know uh, what, singer, dog? And she 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 came she came out with a picture of her <laughs> on the thing trying to look sexy in lingerie. I know. Yo, my nigga, like yo, I you, you know when you want to see some shit. trying to get into this generation. She's trying to be accepted, my you nigga. Ain't gonna do all that, like, <laughs> she trying to be accepted. No, that was. The, I don't want to say that's disgusting. All I'm saying it is disgusting. It is disgusting. It is disgusting. I'm over, disgusting. Yo, listen. I'm Rocky fat. Age. Listen, hold on, we're gonna take it to the this, fatness real quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm fat, right? I'm so, gonna say something right after that. Hold on, hold on. Before you even go on, beauty comes in all shapes oh, and sizes. Oh, can nobody tell me I'm ugly? Can nobody tell me I'm ugly first of all? I'm a bad ass bitch. Stop. That's what you're trying to do. Stop. Who that Listen, listen, I'm a bad ass bitch. Can't nobody tell me nothing. Really? But what I'm trying to say is, Mama D is old. You cannot. Post those pictures for young people yeah, that I can see. She, you gonna traumatize it, yeah. right? That's like me being fat right now, and I just post some sloppy picture without like editing or just some shit. Niggas be like, "What the fuck's going on?" Like, or like if <laughs> I go to a skinny shit up, cause I'm lit, my nigga. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm yeah, lit. Yeah, Can't nobody tell me different. Yeah. But like, my pictures be normal. I don't be sloppy all over the place. Yeah. That's like if I go to a skinny strip club and you pay money to see a skinny bitch and my fat ass is there stripping. You gonna yeah, be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. "Yo, I got <laughs> this is fucked up, 
string in your thumb, you don't get no ones. You know if I see a string in your thumb, you don't get no ones. Man. No, I'm just saying, Mama D can't do that, my nigga. That's not what people want to see, dog. Like, that's a, she's she somebody cannot do that, dog. Like, like, literally. Scrappy need to fuck her up, dog. Yo, he ain't got shit wrong with woman. She no, I don't want to hear that, man. She said, no, he needs she to fuck back her up, dog. Like, she done said it's like 10 years. Yo, imagine my mom out right now with that shit. I'll punch her in her throat like, bitch, if you don't say I'm not giving no, no, I'm giving no ladies the pass, especially after Michelle, my lady. Nah, you don't get the pass, no. All right, what you mean, uh, what you mean after Michelle? Yeah, after Michelle Obama, you don't get oh, the pass. Oh, you, know, yeah. you know what taste is. It's, 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 I don't want to hear that. Nah, <laughs> no, bitch, have some class and some taste. You too old for this shit. Yeah. Now, nah, nobody say, let's not knock a hustle. She can rap, you can do that, but you in a laundry, bitch, you ain't little Kim and Nine Six. Oh, my God. You ain't little Kim no, and Nine Six. Tell people not to look at that. Yo, don't hey. look that up. I don't want to take money off of that. Like, uh, she could have did it with me. I'm about to look it up. Let's call it. I'm curious. 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 I'm
that. You know why I'm just gonna go with Cole because I, I don't care. I don't care what you say. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Cole only because like I feel like his music ain't Drake is just out of the question so leave him out right mm -hmm. so between Cole and Kendrick I feel like Cole's songs is definitely not up to part of Kendrick Lamar so mm -hmm. I have to keep him in Drake's just out Drake's just in you know yeah, what I mean? like, so if you got to yeah, keep a walk nigga like, he's it's, gonna it's, go with the truck yeah, it's them too, so, so he has to go my nigga like Regardless of him being fine and all that, but Kendrick's freestyles and all that, he just be killing shit. I'm sorry, he has to go. I don't care, you're not in this. Nobody asked you. Next! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, she really taking over. What up, sis? I Come can't even do it, man. I, I, I can't even do it. No, that's literally my playlist at this time. I can't even do it. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. Right. Or, or you're going to have to lose a leg in real life, so. Alright, oh. fucking chop it off. <laughs> Black Panther, Cody, Damien, KOD, the son of all the little niggas. And then you nigga Drizzy, you ain't in the club of fucking your favorite bitch to Drizzy. So you need some Drizzy. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. 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 your favorite joint to yeah. something. Like, yeah. I like somebody yeah. 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 I can still answer something up with one leg. Take the leg, I ain't giving it up. I'm not taking nobody. Take my leg. Yeah, 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 I respect Cole as an artist, but he gotta go. My name He's too one-dimensional. Everything is. Yeah. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, I don't care about but, but, but why you say that? Yeah. 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 You just made a I, I love him and I respect him as an artist and as you a person. Say, I want to know like, that everything. Dude, that. don't really switch it up enough for me. You know. He does it. He's a great artist, but he's not for me. No. You have one. You Cole got one. You have one. You Cole. Cole got it. Okay. I I got it. Alright, here's my answer. See? And this is tough. I know your answer. Right, I couldn't do it. This yeah. is tough because Cole's my fucking nigga. Fucking um Born Center, one of my favorite albums. That's just one in my top five. Far Hills Drive is a fucking classic. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. To Pimp a Butterfly is what separates it from me. <laughs> To Pimp a Butterfly is what sold me to Kendra. To Pimp a Butterfly gave me pop. It gave me everything. It gave me just just like that old school musical, yeah, like like this, nigga that this real you shit. From like like shit. so, Cole, my nigga, I gotta go, Cole. You gotta go. Like Drake, it sucks because Drake's a club nigga. I need Drake shit. He got so much shit that I can bang to. It's hard to yeah, not right. let go, of Drake. Pause. But if I had to choose between Kendrick and Cole, it's the to pimp a butterfly. That's the only thing that separates them. The damn album's lit. But the damn album was him. Dumbing down to Pimple Butterfly because a lot of people he dropped to Pimple Butterfly and it went over niggas' heads. And, and then I, I didn't hear, you I didn't hear that album until like maybe after a couple months after it came out. And I'm not even gonna lie, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like cause just cause I didn't really, you know, yeah. like I heard a little bit and then I was like, ah, you know how you skim through shit? Mm -hmm. And then I was like, oh, hold yeah, on. Yeah, you got some shit. shit. You got yeah. some shit. So that's how J. Cole just has to go. <laughs> Alright, bet. So let's take your old school, late 90s, early 2000s with it, all right? This is groups. G-Unit, Dipset, okay, and Wu-Tang. Oh, shit. We ain't gotta go. We ain't gotta go. We ain't gotta go. And everything they did. Oh, come on. G-Unit, Dipset, Wu-Tang. Yeah. Oh, shit. We're going to go around the room. Just them three. We're going to start with Sal. You said G-Unit, Dipset, and Wu-Tang. Yeah. All right, Wu-Tang staying. G-Unit and Dipset. God, motherfucker, damn. I'm, can I quit? No, you gotta choose one. Um, G unit and, and all right, G unit. G unit. Yeah, all right, that's God a damn. Choice. I just that's a don't ask me why because it's hard enough, it. man. Just I don't even right, know. Right, it was right. a hard one, dog. All right, all right, God okay. damn. Okay, I can I love see me some face. Lloyd Banks. Go ahead. Shit. Oh, nah, oh, I'm definitely with her, man, Gene. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nah, I'm like, you, you made that too easy, y'all. Okay. Nah, nah, because I already made the decision. I'm not giving up on the wool, like, nigga. Yeah, I, that's how I told him. That's how I was saying. You know, like, one of them is already safe. Dips, like, come on. You know the dips, come on. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah, 
We ain't giving that up. Yeah, yeah that's why you want to fuck with the dick. Yo, Chris, you screaming, bro. Yo, no lie, this ain't gonna make no sense because I grew up on these cats. Oh, man. I even have a shirt. You're uh, fired. Uh, I have to say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Nope. You're Who? fired. Oh, okay. Who got to go, man? I, I grew slave, up on slave, them. Slave, slave. They first two albums, they first two albums was fire. After that, uh, they came out with that Iron Flag shit. I was like, what the hell is that? How long man? ago was that, though? It was almost set. When did they you get Iron Flag? They came out with two hot albums. They set the tone for all the rest of them cats, but I'm going to say this because he said early 2000s, so I'm thinking about the war yeah. early 2000s when they just dropped yeah, that, they, that, they, that, they, that they, gravel they, pit. They, so I think that was the oh, double oh, album. So that's why I was like, it's too hard for me. No, I'm not giving that up. Check out my drive. I was all on the way after that. I was like, I'm going to fuck that shit. Yeah, boy. You got it? Nigga. Huh? You got to go. Yeah, I'm like, you really got to go. She said, you got to go. Okay, what you say? Okay, it's too deep. Oh, the unit got to go, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, like yeah, yo, yeah. this set gave you longevity okay. and, and waves upon waves. Yeah. Like, to the unit, it's like, yo, they got corny after a while, and yeah. you see what happened okay. with that. Okay. And this set's still did. doing a reunion. But Jimmy was got yeah. This set's still out here getting money. Jimmy was getting money. Jimmy was getting money. Jimmy was getting money. No, but this set's out here still getting money. Here's my answer. Chris, you don't, you don't, you, 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 you're not crazy, bro. I'm going to say oh. this. I'm going to go with the Wu. If I they got to go. Nigga. This is why the Wu got to go. Because <laughs> I'm choosing what had impact on my life. When the Wu was lit, I was in elementary and shit. So I wasn't really fucking with the Wu. My teen years, Dipset and G-Unit had impact on my life. Like, 50s forever? I mean, 50s the future? You know what I'm saying? All them G-Unit yeah. mixtapes. That has something that's a special part of my life. Oh, Early two yeah, thousands, like the whole I even even the whole the mainstream what? mixtapes that they made, yeah, the, the, the real man. shit. Well, even when Buck came in, you know what I'm saying? Like like the shit could get ugly in the masterpiece. Like we're gonna really like give up shit like that. Yeah. We can't. Yes, it, we can. it doesn't necessarily matter like what you grew up on, like what you came up like. I'm not Wu Tang age, but I Wu fuck with them over the G Unit though, right. just because, I, like, I could be 20 and be like, yo, I want to listen to Wu Tang right now and just mm -hmm. fuck with their music. That's and, real. And, That's real. And um, 50 Cent could be in my era right there when I'm 20, but I don't want to fuck with 50 because he's not related to me. Mm -hmm. But he related to you, so yeah, that's fine. But you're Alex. fired anyways because, nigga, there's no way you could kick Wu Tang out, dog. Listen, not the Wu. Yeah, listen. Nah, don't play so hard my baby. Don't go to war on that Drake. Don't take that mad dead Don't go to my baby. Dad, 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 wait, wait. Yo, when I saw this in Tanya, who was the last dude, his last verse before, um, before Ghost? His first shit don't kill me. Nobody and then Ghost came in. He's like, yo, fuck that. Look at that. He's got everybody in the woo. And all them dudes wasn't really that talented. Oh, they uh, all wasn't, man. man. The art they all was wasn't, crazy, man. Baby. You mean to tell me you want to take cream away? Like, just on the basic uh, level. Just no, 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 no. That, and, and that's what I'm saying. Like, but, 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 if G Unit didn't last that long, but the impact that they had, especially me coming up, the teen oh, years, you know what I'm saying? Like, them niggas had niggas wearing brassiere white feeders. I never bought one of them shits. But I, they I had niggas this. doing the shit. This, this, was, this was my final decision. This is why I had to take G-Unit out, because 50 started a revolution on singing niggas, and then he started singing. Mm -hmm. I'm out of here, B. Listen. I'm out of here, B. That was a strategic move. Yeah, yeah, see, now that's what we're breaking it down. Oh. Dips was the dips. Wu Tang was Wu Tang. Come on. 50, you kind of gave me the arrows. Get over the Tony, 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 Tony,
Like, oh, come on. Uh, uh, the the woo? Come on, are you gonna really take out, like, think about all the pieces? Now, you make sense, man. Yeah, and I, I rather you my yo. Can I live without Tony Ayo's music? I can live without Of course you can live without the game. I can live without the game. The game is a game. The game got his ways, but the game is a real talented dude. 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 That was, don't do that, don't do that. I forgot about that. Yeah. 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 spoke about Gucci way in the beginning, so he's mm -hmm. just safe. Yeah. And then, um, who was that though you said? Jeezy and Tim. Hey, hey, look, hey. no, that's how easy it was for me to get him out here <laughs> because, yo, Jeezy, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm Tim all the way. It's between Jeezy and Tim to a Tim. Yeah, yes. Hey, but Jeezy gave me Tim. Snowman and Tim, who you getting out of here? Let's go. Next. Go ahead, Snowman. I'm gonna have to say Jeezy. I gotta say Jeezy. Why? Why? Because Jeezy came after these niggas, and for the fact, I, I, I was a tip fan and grew up, grew up with the forefather, but Jeezy, Jeezy kind of made, he, again, he made the trap more um, mass media type style, like, you know what I mean? It wasn't still the yeah. trap, like, grew up and T.I. was still in the trap, but when Jeezy got on, it was like, all right, it's main, uh, I, I keep forgetting the word, but it was, again, I, I'm going to say Jeezy's in the trap right now, what are you talking about? What you mean? <clears throat> like, you said, um, you said tip. It's like, he, he, he made it more pop, like, nigga, tip, niggas didn't know about tip until, was that tip was that tip's first trap music? No, no, no. That was his trap music. My man had a whole album. But like Jeezy came out. Beanie Man was a problem. Hold on. My man came out with an album called Trap Music. Yeah, the first Dale South Water Supply that I saw with a bank ain't doing on top of that too. Yeah, uh uh. Beanie Man with Beanie Man. Let's, 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 let's go, um, Chris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I hate to do it to the brother because he's gotten better, but it, it's gonna have to be Gucci oh, because he just doesn't really have the versatility. Oh, okay. I've listened, I've listened I, to, I, I've listened I, to Jeezy <laughs> say my cousin is black. I've listened to Ti talk about you know them to stop you know killing us in the streets and all of that. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's gonna have to be Gucci, unfortunately, man. Uh, and Gucci got better. Water. And I listen I to Gucci water. more than I listen to Ti, and more than I listen to, uh, to Jeezy right now. But just the versatility aspect, as an overall package, I'm gonna have to go with Gucci, man. Real fast, it hurts, man. It's real fast. Gucci's got Do better. realize you take out Gucci, you don't get half these other niggas out here. You don't get your Migos. You don't get your fucking young thuggies. Mm -hmm. You don't get that. This, this, yeah. nothing you know that. That's why I, I got to keep Gucci. Alright, just make sure. I ain't gonna make sure. So, Sophie, who you got? And, and Sophie, 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 you mad over here. Y'all disrespecting T.I., man. I'm going with... Between the three, he gotta go. And he gotta go. Yeah, I, I, yo, P, who you, who you going with? Nah, I'm going with Goo out, dog. Goo out gotta go, P. Damn, you ain't going to go. Hold on. They don't first off, yo. first off, T.I. T.I. created a lane for Goo up to even have a... Oh, 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 oh,
hard. The nigga's I like political. You. I like you. You're on my the, side. The nigga's right? political. He's all of that and everything. I like what he's doing right now. But if I had to choose one to go, Tip gotta go. Yeah. Because Gucci is Master P to me. He's the new Master P to me. And Jeezy is the new. He he's Gucci's uh, no limit. Jeezy's cash money. Tip is. I mean, he's just Tip. Like, yeah. they Tip can survive in the East. That's what I'm saying. Tip's not trash. But I'm saying, where we go? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Tip's a nigga from the South who can survive in the East. Gucci yeah. and, and Jeezy can't survive in the East. But if I gotta choose out of Jeezy early track, Jeezy's not a lyrical nigga, my nigga. That's what I could do without it. But he'll give me a chorus. That's what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is Jeezy, the, the, that <laughs> trap shit, the snowman oh, shit. My man Chris was coming to school with snowman and get having to get sent home. You know what I'm saying? Like, the shit was real. Like, he had a movement. My nigga Wap, still a movement. I fuck with Wap hard, so I gotta so go with him. So act like ATL and, and King the album didn't happen. Listen, that Tim, wasn't a moment. Was I it not a moment? Tip, it was a I never oh, fuck with Tip as hard as I fuck with these niggas, though. That's all I'm saying. Okay, okay. I got one last one, and then we'll sit home. Man, man. We're gonna go with the new niggas. I don't know if everybody listen to new music, but we're gonna go with the new yes, niggas. Sir. I'm gonna go off the top. I'm gonna go Lil Uzi, 21, and Kodak Black. Who gotta go? 21. Mm -hmm. She couldn't even say it, nigga. Yeah. She couldn't even <laughs> fix her face to say that shit. Yeah. I gotta hear, I gotta hear that little nigga over there again. Lil Uzi, 21, Kodak Black. I already know. Yo, I hate Kodak, but I love him though. <laughs> Cause he's a Haitian nigga. No he is. Oh, she's um, like a Haitian. Alright, show up. Alright, I'm gonna go with Lil Uzi. Alright, that's real. Right. That's real. That's real. <laughs> you see me like I Why? Do you have a reason? No, you just fucking me up, nigga. Who you go? Who you going, sis? Oh, you know I'm kicking out little Uzi. I don't even know how that fuck yeah. Yeah. I mean, I like, like He can keep his wiggling ass shoulder to himself, nigga. He had that suspect video to him. My nigga, if you don't take that head down, again, respect your music. We're not going to judge, though. It's 2018, man. We're not going to judge. Cause it's 2018. I I don't make me pull up receipts, nigga. So hold on, don't make me pull up receipts. <laughs> man. Don't, no, 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 no. I got receipts, man. I got receipts, man. So you go with it. I was going with that nigga. Don't fuck with him, like Kodak. Kodak. I just never heard that much from Kodak. Okay, okay, that's. But to be honest, I put Kodak at 21 in the same thing. But I heard a few more joints from 21 that I like, man. So 20, you know. My soldier jumped out. I'm about to go with Kodak. Yeah, it's between 21. No, you gotta choose one. No betweens. One got to go. How we asking you all Who? Uzi? Why? I don't know. I like 21 better. Yeah. Where you going with P? Uzi gotta go. Uzi gotta go. Uzi gotta go. Uzi gotta go. Why? Gotta go. Specific reason? I just don't fuck with them. The niggas too weird. Okay. I like too many moments where it's just paused. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, whoa, what are you doing to the culture? They're all weird. And they all weird. It is what it is. They are fucking weird, man. Fucking zinnies and opioids, whatever fucking call it. So here's these niggas fucked up, man. Here's where I'm gonna go with it, and then we'll wrap it up. If I had to choose between the three, 21 gotta go, and that's only because he's the most retarded out of all of them. Oh, Uzi, shit. Uzi <laughs> actually has hits, and Uzi is, I can tell he's gonna last long because he makes good music. Like, not shit that I can relate to all the time, but I could be like, sonically, I see why this shit's blowing up. And the nigga Kodak, he slept on. He's a real conscious nigga if you really listen to him. He remind me of Scarface. People gonna hate you on that, but listen to him. <laughs> listen to Kodak. He got shit. He's a young nigga that knows some ill shit and he speaks on it. He reminds me of the lots too, where he'll give you shoot him up, bang, bang, but when you finish listening to it, when you finish listening to it, it's like he's not just saying it just to say it. It's actually a message to the madness. Like he's not, you can tell he's really cool, been, you can tell he's really been in his coats. Cause he said some coon shit. He was like, I'm about to chase, right? But yeah, 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 he's a coon too. But so I'm saying, it, 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 it wasn't what like the nigga said in full context. But that's but his it, preference. But if you just said, you know, R. Kelly, like, R. Kelly like young bitches, my nigga. Exactly. Man. And nigga been supporting him. <laughs> yeah. His pipe ass for how long? Yo, there's a lot of people who was like, cook. So it's like, you know, uh, that's the personal shit. I don't agree with it. I think beauty comes in all shapes, sizes, all types of colors, everything. But 
He right, likes one in. type. So it's like, all right, whatever. Stop doing that, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm saying like is, that. That's that. Like a BBW personally, I can't <laughs> fuck with the nigga. But if we're going to just judge the art, we're going to judge the art. Listen, we're going <laughs> to shut down the shop. I had mad fun tonight. Right, I right. appreciate everybody coming through. Yo, if y'all don't mind, please give out your, your information, what you got going mm -hmm. on, how people can follow you, oh, all of that. Y'all heard that. Come over here, look at me. BBW over here, South Power. Mm -hmm. No sub, no, no bullshit, right? Um, follow me on Instagram, Hollywood Sour, Sour with two R's at the end, and then um, follow my radio page, Rolling with Sour. So y'all can make sure y'all watch my ratchet YouTube show that's coming with all the hoes busted open and the, 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 the drug dealers and the rappers that's and trappers and everything in between, nigga. We getting it all popping, so all mm -hmm. at me. Yeah. True Fitness 617, T-R-U-F-I-T-N-E-S-S -S, 617. Got the gym opening soon. Um, dropping a lot, a lot, a lot of game. You know, just just trying to help the people, help people. You know, get this health and wellness thing going, and you know, uplift the community. You know, bring something different out here. Get you a summer body. Bet, yeah, bet right. summer bodies. You know, mommies and grandmamas beating cancer and diabetes and all of that. That's what we need out here. We need we need our family, we need our parents living long. So, you know, follow me, you know, hopefully you want to get some of them tools back. Follow us, you from Rocks, man. Y'all already know, man. Willie Hutch, man. Willie Hutch, man. And of course, man, y'all already know, if you ain't already do it, if you bugging out, follow us on YouTube, follow our YouTube page, follow us on IG. At the barbershop talk underscore. Make sure y'all like our YouTube page. Make sure y'all like the pictures and all that shit we putting up. We try to move. We gonna need the support. You know what I mean? We got sound in the building. Boston support Boston. You know what I mean? You shit. We ain't yeah. got no representation nationwide. Sound of Boston you know supports Boston. Let's not. That's a whole other topic. You know, mm -hmm. we spoke about that. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, we yeah. support each other, but niggas ain't really supporting you. They hate you. <laughs> yeah. They it hate you. More. Hey, if you feel so. another way, jump in the comments, say what you gotta say, join the conversation, and we'll check in. Here we yeah. go. Facts. So, we appreciate y'all for tuning in. Make sure y'all tune in to the next time, man. One.